Belvedere community members are already stepping up to help the family. Alexis Carpello spoke with two women today who are looking for donations. Alexis, how can people help? Yeah, Eric, the women are asking for help in two ways. A GoFundMe page has been set up to raise money for the family, but they're also looking for items like diapers and clothes to give to the family. I have a seven-year-old and I can't even imagine. Andrew Hint's neighbors are in shock after finding out he and his two young sons were murdered. It's so horrific and I just, you hear stories, but I guess it's just different when it's your community and it's right down the road from you. It just hits you differently. Bethany Thompson lives down the road from Hint's house. She's hosting a candlelight vigil for him and the young boys Tuesday evening. Thompson is asking residents to bring clothes, diapers, and other items for the boys' siblings. And I just, you know, feel so bad for these people. It's the holidays, now they're kids without a dad. You know, it's just terrible. Lacey Allison lives right across the street from the Hints. She tells me she didn't hear or see anything the night of the crime. I mean, we just spoke with Andrew Saturday afternoon and um, actually saw him Friday evening. So it was very, it was a shock. It was something that I wasn't expecting to wake up to at all. She set up a GoFundMe to help the family. His fiance is a mother of five, stay-at-home mom, I should say. Um, he was the provider, and me and her had many talks about it through the summer when we'd sit together. You know, if it, she would say if it wasn't for him, she wouldn't have anything. So it, it breaks my heart for her now that they're not only are the other three children missing their father and their siblings, but now she's missing her fiancé, and they can't continue their life together. You can find a link to that GoFundMe as well as further details about tomorrow's vigil in this article at mystateline.com. Eric?